Hi, welcome to Thiro Academy. Today we are going to discuss about spring boot starters. Then let's see one by one what starters will do like that. Okay. First, what starters will do? Spring boot starters, not single start, uh, simple starters. Okay. Spring boot starter is a set of pre-configured dependencies and opinions bundled together to simplify the process of setting up a specific type of application in a Spring Boot project. It is bundled together pre-configured dependencies. Starters means, okay. Spring Boot starters help developers bootstrap their projects quickly by providing a cohesive and ready to use configuration for particular use case. What it will do is help developers to bootstrap their Spring Boot application very quickly. Okay. And it will provide the ready to use configuration. They take away the pain of manually managing individual libraries and ensure you have all the required components for a specific functionality in your application. It is taking away the manual burden whatever the specific versions of jar files we need to add right the button it is removing and ensure what first of all we need to know what are the jars we need to add for the spring boot application for a specific functionality okay that button also it is removing okay then next what are spring boot starters okay spring boot starters dependency descriptors okay they are not actual libraries but rather files these are files palm.xml in palm.xml we will add that list the specific version of spring and related libraries needed for a particular functionality the, uh, for a for example if you take web functionality we need to add web related things right uh, that specific version of string related libraries it will automatically add when we spring web dependency add into our spring boot application and it's a wide variety there are more than 50 starters available in spring boot covering everything from web development to database from starting to ending it is providing more than 50 i think 62 starters available and it is uh, categorized into three parts i think uh, First is application starters, second is uh, production starters, third is technical starters. Under technical starters, uh, Tomcat, Jetty, under Tow and uh, related things will come. Production starters means uh, actuator is there, right? Spring Boot actuator starter that will come. And remind our application starters in development we will use, okay? Easy to use. Simply add the relevant starters, name to your palm.xml file in simply we will add the dependency for our palm.xml file if you are using maven okay and spring boot will automatically handle downloading and configuring all the necessary dependencies for example i'll show you here see before that see here not this one yeah this is the starters in spring documentation okay starters here these are all the starters only application starters first i'll say in a spring boot application starters first spring boot starter core starter this is include auto configuration support logging and ml see next active mq aop remaining so many starters available batch cache uh, spring hyphen boot hyphen starter this will start okay uh, then after that it is adding the name of that specific functionality this is related spring spring hyphen boot dot uh, sorry boot hyphen starter hyphen data hyphen jdbc if you want to uh, implement a something related to jdbc we need to include the starter starter name and this is the descript description it is available See, yeah description only yeah this is the jpa starter name and description ldap if you want to use any ldap authentication like that we need to add this dependency mongodb like this so many starters are available free marker head to jdbc jersey mail starter 
spring hyphen boot hyphen starter hyphen mail starter for using java mail and spring frameworks email sending support it supports the email sending support okay what authorization server and what to client see quad security related dependency time leaf validation web yeah the, seen right uh, this is uh, spring boot production starters this is spring hyphen boot hyphen starter hyphen actuator this is the spring boot production starter and this is the description for that starter this is the technical starters spring boot technical starters under this jetty log 4j to logging reactor uh, netty tomcat undertow this is related to tomcat server this is related to jetty server this is related to undertow server this is re related to logging these two okay this reactor related to reactor netty server re related thing okay then next we will see why use spring boot starters why we need to is uh, use these starters means it is providing the increased productivity this is the feature saves your time and effort by eliminating the need to manually manage dependencies manual managing of dependencies it is avoiding increased productivity this is one of the feature reduced configuration automatically configures most things for you based on the starters you choose for example see one example i am telling or showing this is a demo application okay here we have added the first i have created as a uh, desktop application then i have added the spring web dependency here that's why both are available okay uh, lumbok dependency i have taken uh, for example we'll see spring boot starter web dependency related thing stuff okay see the location in m2 these are local in system this is the in our uh, local user dot m2 is a folder available repository organization spring framework under this boot these are all available jars if you observe in your mission okay come come down come down in spring web dependency these many jars are available these many number of jars spring boot starter headers templates groovy templates jdbc jersey a jet t log 4j2 json logging mail starter mustache authorization related things these many jars are available if you observe observe once okay see one more thing dependency hierarchy also you can observe here yeah here see see the spring boot starter these many jars are available for compilation not for testing okay see first is spring boot starter this is see this is the spring boot starter web related jars okay spring boot starter is available in web spring boot starter json is available see jackson data bind jackson data type jdk8 jsr so many tomcat also available spring web web mvc okay in M mvc see how many jars available evop related beans related core related spring core spring beans jar spring context jar spring core these versions we can avoid this burden manually adding jars burden okay when we use spring boot this lumbok related thing okay observe right uh, resolve dependencies these are you can uh, check this in uh, effective palm also all those available when we open my system got stuck up no i don't want to go to that okay this and this is dependencies here dependence whatever we have added we can check here yeah come back improved maintainability keeps your palm.xml file clean and concise 
making it easier to manage dependencies in the long run in the long run it is keeps a, it is a, uh, keep clean and concise our files okay production ready features we have seen that actuator dependency right status include tested and supported versions of libraries ensuring stability and reliability it is providing when we use spring boot discoverability helps you discover new libraries and technologies related to your project simple examples we'll see to build a simple web application you would add the spring boot starter web dependency we need to add in our palm.xml if you want to connect with database uh, for example mysql oracle postgres any database we need to connect with spring boot starter data jp okay for example if you want feature like email sending we need to add spring boot starter email this dependency we need to add in our spring boot application for sending email feature okay then next web development starters web development starters are spring boot starter web this is one of the starter we need to use spring boot starter actuator we need to use spring boot starter time leaf dependency we need to use for web this is the cornerstone for any web application any for any web application we need to add this web dependency web application built with this spring boot it includes spring mvc tomcat and other basic web development essentials for actuator provides valuable endpoints for monitoring and managing our application including health checks metrics and environment variables okay for time leaf integrate the time leaf templating engine for server side templating in your web application okay it is providing the templates for view point of view okay actuator provides the metrics health checks managing our web application it will useful for web related things web dependency is useful okay database management starter sir spring boot starter data jpa the go to option for accessing relational database using jpa and hibernet simplifies data access and object relational mappings if you want to go with hibernet or jpa we need to use this starter spring boot data jpa starter or else if you want to go with only jdbc spring boot starter data jdbc we need to use lightweight alternative to jpa this is jdbc starter okay then if you want to deal with mongodb we need to go with um, mongodb or no sql or spring data uh, spring boot starter data mongodb dependency we need to use okay uh, other common starters are uh, spring boot starter test for testing our spring boot applications spring boot starter security for adding spring security framework for our spring boot application for authentication and authorization for email support spring boot starter email is available we need to use for that for provide beam validation capabilities using hibernate validator we need to go with spring boot starter validation dependency we need to use it this is the side uh, spring spring boot documentation url this is thank you thank you for watching this video if you really like this please like share and subscribe to my channel